Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya O'Kill. Welcome back to another video. So, on this video today, I just want to talk to y'all about some real stuff. Some real stuff. Holy Spirit literally just dropped this in my spirit. Just spoke this word in my spirit. And let me also say this too. Before I even get into the message for this video, let me say this right here. I did not come on this video or come on this channel or show up on social media to give you brand new information that you ain't never ever heard before okay and i said this in one of my other videos i am simply here to confirm okay i am simply here to confirm to you what god has already spoken to you what god has already revealed to you because Revelation can only come from God. It cannot come from man. It cannot come from people. It can only come from God. And I promote a personal relationship with God. I always tell y'all never put me or anybody else in the place where God is supposed to be. Okay. You check in with God first. You hear from God first. You take every one of these messages that you hear here on YouTube or that you hear from anybody, you take them to God and you sit down with your heavenly father, with your personal relationship that you have with him. And you take these messages back to God and you pray and ask God to help you to discern the spirits of different people that are coming into your life. People that are bringing different messages and different words. You got to take this stuff to God, baby. You got to have your own personal relationship with God. And when you come on YouTube and you watch videos and you hear messages from people, you should not be coming to these platforms to hear God. You Now, it's okay to come and listen to what they have to say in order for that to confirm. You know, if you're looking for some confirmation on what God has already spoken to you, that's fine. But revelation can only come from God. I want to give you all that quick spiritual disclaimer real quick baby because i do not try to exalt myself or put myself or anybody else in the place where god is supposed to be i promote a personal relationship with god and that you will uh wake up to the power that's in you my channel is about helping you to wake up to your power empowering you to be able to have that personal relationship with god where you can get downloads and you can hear what god is speaking to you directly because he wants to talk to you directly god don't need a middleman he don't need somebody between you and him telling you what god said and what does say at the lord because god could talk to you directly and tell you exactly what he wants you to know okay so i just wanted to put that out there y'all make sure y'all go and check in with god not only my messages but any of these messages messages that y'all hear from these folks on youtube or tiktok instagram wherever don't take their word like it's God. You need to take my word and everybody else's word to God. Confirm it. Make sure it's for you because every message, every video is not for you. Every video that I put out is not going to be for you. Every video that other people, other creators put out may not be for you. This is where your personal relationship with God is going to come in it. And you need to take these messages to God and pray about it. Okay. And, and see if it resonates with your spirit. The Bible says that we have to try these spirits to see whether or not they be of God. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there before I got into this message, but just flowing right on into the message. This is what God, you know, revealed to me. And I'm just coming on sharing in sharing my revelation with y'all. A lot of y'all are going to resonate with this video. God, God revealed that to me. A lot of y'all going to, going to, going to click with it. I see the puzzle pieces coming together, but this is what God is saying to his chosen vessels in this video. And like I said, God going to be an already confirmed this with you. He's going to be already revealed this to you in your spirit. And the words that I'm about to speak is only going to be confirmation for what you was already feeling, what you already heard God say to you. Being chosen. This is the message. Being chosen is not easy. Let me tell y'all something. This is not a, um, like a fad or whatever they call it, like a, like a trend or like a, um, you know, just, just, just a, a wave that's coming through or like a new style or something. No, no. Being chosen is an identity. Being chosen is your spiritual identity in Christ. The scripture says many are called, but few are chosen. To be chosen is not an easy path to walk. 
I need y'all to understand that. And I have spoken about this on a lot of my other videos. To be chosen is difficult. It's hard sometimes. Yes, it's many blessings that are gonna, that's going to come with that. It's going to be many things that you're going to have that other people may not have or may not experience. Things you're going to have access to. New levels that you're going to be able to unlock. But as the word says, too much is given. Much is required. So it's going to be a lot that's going to be required of you. I need you to understand that as the chosen, as the chosen one, when you accept that and you walk in that identity, the enemy is going to hate that. He is not going to be happy about you waking up to who you are, because as long as you were sleeping, as long as you was unaware of the enemy's, uh, just, just his ways of doing things and how he was getting over on you and how he was manipulating you, how he was, how these spirits was operating in these different people to get over on you. Why? Because you didn't understand your power. You didn't understand who you was, but now you know who you are. You know the power that you carry. You walk with that awareness to know I'm chosen. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gifted. I've been called. I've been anointed by God to do something great. And once you know that, the enemy know it's game on. So he gonna come at you. So I need you to understand that when you walk in this identity as being chosen, it's gonna the, the enemy is gonna come after you like, I said this on one of my other videos. The chosen one, you have to cry a lot of tears, baby. Listen to me. You have to cry a lot of tears. You have to spend a lot of days by yourself, a lot of nights by yourself, a lot of times when you sitting up, you working, you creating, ain't nobody with you. I'm sitting up right now. It's late at night. I'm recording this video. Ain't nobody with me. Do you understand me? Like, it ain't nobody with me. It ain't nobody here but me. My children right there in the next room, in their bedroom, sleep. And, and it's nobody but me. It's nobody but me and the Holy Spirit. And that's what you got to understand as the chosen one. You're going to walk a lot of seasons where it ain't going to be nobody but you and the Holy Spirit. But I came on this video, baby, to let you know that that is all you need. Do you understand me? That is all you need. And God knows that, yes, it is going to take more than you to make your dreams come true, right? I talked about this on one of my other videos that you can't do it all by yourself. It's going to take more than just you. But God knows that when the time is right, God is going to send kingdom connections. He's going to send the people that he, that he knows needs to be in your life at the time that they need to be there to help you fulfill your destiny. The Lord is going to do that. But being chosen as the chosen, you can't just go out there and just snatch up people. I need y'all to understand what I'm saying. You can't go out there and just, oh, I want a friend. I think I'm finna go make me a friend. Oh, I'm lonely. I think I want to be in a relationship. I need to go get in a relationship. I need to go get me a woman. Or I need to go get me a man. As the chosen one, you can't do that. Okay? You, <laughs> you can't do that, baby. Because when you chosen, you're not just going to click with just anybody. You're not. Y'all know I'm telling y'all the truth. Y'all, a lot of y'all, you done tried this. You done tried to make it work. You done tried to you know, be friends with certain people, you know, try to connect with certain people. And it was like oil and water is like the two just didn't mix. And that's because you're chosen. Y'all, if y'all didn't catch that video I dropped some months ago, it didn't work because you're the chosen one. Yeah, them friendships didn't work because God had a bigger calling on your life. Them relationships, come on now, that marriage didn't work. Why? Because God saw the bigger picture. God saw things that you didn't see. He heard conversations that you didn't hear. He saw these people making moves, underhanded moves. So God made the executive decision. God made the call to say, oh no, I'm not finna get, I'm not finna have my chosen one caught up in all this mess. I'm not finna have you dealing with this and dealing with that. And I'm going to tell y'all something. When you get into, okay, what does it mean to be chosen? What do you mean, Toya, when you say the chosen one? Now, these folks, they're going to give you some different definitions for it. I'm going to give you my revelation for it, okay? Each and every one of y'all, it is up to you to decide if you want to be chosen or not. Yeah. The chosen one, this is what God revealed to me. The chosen one is the one that chooses the destiny that God has chosen for them. Because God has given you free will. It's your decision to decide on which way you want to go. If you want to go left or right with this thing, God is not going to force nothing on you. But when you step into a new way of thinking, when you change your mindset, when you, when you come up in your thinking, the Bible speaks about this, how we are not to be conformed to the patterns of this world, but we are to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. 
the people that tap into that knowledge and the people that are transformed by the renewing of their minds, those are the people that unlock things that have been locked up to the masses, that have been locked up away from the masses, away from the multitudes. It's a certain group of people that tap into things that other people are not able to tap into. Yeah, they're able to experience another side of life that the majority of people will live their whole life and they'll never experience. And this is not just material wealth. This is just not physical things. That's a part of it, but that's not all of it. Uh, the majority of it is internal. It's internal peace. It's internal success. It's internal prosperity and wealth and healing and deliverance. The kingdom of God is not a physical place. It's not a physical thing. It's internal. It's spiritual. It's a mentality. It's a mindset. It's a way of thinking. And so those are the chosen ones. And God knows, God knew that out of all these people that he created, he knew he's, he, it is his desire that you access the kingdom now. It is his desire that, that none would be lost and that all would be saved. But God knows that this is your decision. He can't make this decision for you. It's your decision. You have to decide. So you have to decide, am I going to go my own route, go my own way, make up my own laws and principles, or am I going to follow the laws and principles that my heavenly father has created, that he's built into the universe? And you can't go against universal laws and principles, baby. You can't break them. They're going to break you. So the smart ones are the ones that choose the destiny that God has chosen for them. They, instead of working against their against the power they team up with the power that's on the inside of them. These are the chosen ones. They team up with the power that's on the inside of them. They reprogram their minds. They change their way of thinking. This is what repentance really means. It don't mean none of that religious stuff that they crammed into our head for years. No, repentance means to change the way you think. Okay, you've been living this way. You've been thinking this way. But Jesus says now a new way of life is here. The kingdom of heaven has arrived. The kingdom is here. So now in order for you to enter in, in order for you to access the kingdom, you got to change the way you think. You got to repent. These are the chosen ones, the people that tap into this knowledge, the people that understand this. You unlock new levels. You unlock greatness. You unlock success that is locked up and locked away from the masses. So that's my revelation of being chosen. So it's up to you to decide whose side you on, baby. You better join the winning team. I'm just saying, <laughs> you better join the winning team, baby. But understand what comes along with this territory when you accept this path, when you accept the path that God has for you, you're going to encounter some stuff. It's, go it's, it's not, every day is not going to be the best of the best physically, but because you have that internal peace, because you have that internal joy, that internal wealth, that internal prosperity, you can prosper internally, even when your physical environment does not support what you have going on on the inside. I need y'all to understand because before I could do anything that I'm doing physically right now, I was already doing it in my mind. Before anything changed with my bank account, it had already changed in my mind. Like I already saw it. I already saw it and I already knew that I was successful. I already knew that I was healed. I already knew that I was delivered. I already knew that I was wealthy. I already knew that. Before anything physical happened, I already knew it. Because you got to unlock the kingdom from the inside. And it flows over from the inside to the outside. I'm telling you, the people that tap into this knowledge, those are God's chosen vessels. Those are those are his chosen ones. But I'm going to tell you, unlocking this, this other side of life and tapping into this new way of thinking, it has been like, it, it drastically changed my life. Like when you tap into this, it's going to drastically change your life. It's going to change your life for the better. But you also going to cry probably more tears than you have ever cried before. You're going to suffer losses. And I'm not trying to scare y'all away from it, but I'm just trying to prepare you for for just the, for everything that comes along with it because too much is given, much is required. So reaching that ultimate, reaching that high level of success like that, like reaching, tapping into things that other people are not able to tap into, like I was just talking about, you got to understand the warfare that's going to come along with that because 
there there's there's a spiritual enemy there are spiritual forces negative forces evil forces that are not happy about you tapping into these new levels about you unlocking this other side of life and and changing your thinking and changing your programming these spirits are not happy about that and i need you to understand that they gonna come for you baby yes spiritual warfare none of us are beyond that like the enemy he's gonna try the best of the best he gonna come for the best of the best he don't care how chosen you is he don't care how anointed you is he don't care if you bishop bobo of such and such church he don't care if you evangelist or uh, whoever he gonna come for you the same way he would come for anybody else he gonna come for you so you just have to know that you have to be ready you have to be prepared as the scripture says in Ephesians, we have to be suited up. We have to put on the full armor of God because being chosen, it ain't easy. You're going to cry yourself to sleep a lot of nights because you, you're going to want to go somewhere and you know God and told you that you can't be over there. You know because of who you are in the spirit and because of the power that you hold and because of the weight that your name carry and just the weight that your anointing carry you will i'm telling you baby it's gonna hurt when you're gonna want to go certain places but you know you can't go you're gonna want to call certain people but you know you can't call them come on now you're gonna want to take certain people but you know you can't take you're gonna want to ride through and you know you can't ride through because when you know better you got to do better like you can't make them excuses no more because now you know you see what i'm saying like now you're aware you're you're woke like you're not you're not sleeping in the spirit no more like you you're now aware of who you are and your power and you understand all of this now you understand this power you understand this knowledge and you you just see another side of life that other people you know they just they just can't see it and you can't make them see it they got to come to it on their own you just have to keep living your life and letting your light shine but i'm telling you it's not it's a lot of times is it, people don't understand that like being chosen is not easy it is not easy it is not easy it's worth it but it's not easy it's a lot of sacrifices it's a lot of losses um but understand that out of all of your losses out of all of your sacrifices those just, those are just down payments baby do you understand me those are down payments for the new life that God has for you. Those are down payments for your destiny. Those are down payments for the promised land. Every tear you cry, every time somebody walked away from you, every time you lost somebody, you lost something, you lost someone that you love, you had to walk away from somebody, they forced your hand, they gave you the scissors and forced you to cut it off, cut the relationship off, cut the marriage off, cut the friendship off or the business partnership or whatever moves you had to make that your hand was forced to do that and you cried these people don't even know how you done cried yourself to sleep they thinking oh he left me he did me he did me like this he did me like that and she don't even know that it took so much from you to be able to walk away from her like it took you didn't want to do it but you was forced to do it i'm talking to men and women women you know what I'm saying? He may be saying, you did me like this. You left me. You did this. You did that. You broke up our family and this, that, and the third. But he don't understand the chunk that that took out of you to be able to leave. That you didn't want to leave. But a lot of times your hand was forced and you had to go. You had to make that call. Why? Because you chosen and you know that the way this is going on here, I can't continue to go on like this. I can't continue to keep living like this. It's a mandate on my life, baby. It's a calling. When you got a calling on your life, I'm telling you, you can't just be connected to anybody. You can't just be living with anybody. You can't just, because these people, they'll taint your spirit. They'll they'll interrupt your, your anointing. Like they interrupt your flow. You're not able to operate as the, as the chosen one should operate when you got the wrong type of people around you. It throw you off. Those of you that, that are chosen, y'all live day to day with this. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You have to protect your space. You have to protect and, and people will think that, oh, you acting funny, you know, you bougie. Oh, he think he all that and this, that, and the third. No, you just understand that I got to protect my space. I got to protect my investment. I got to protect what I don't work hard for. You don't work hard to get to where you at now. You done put in a lot of time to get to where you at now. You done made a lot of sacrifices. And it's some people that just, you know, they ain't going to understand that. 
Only people that done had to make them same type of calls gonna understand that. I'm gonna tell you right here, right now. Don't expect everybody to understand the moves that you're making because you, they're not gonna understand. Only people that done had to make them same moves and had to make them same hard calls, them difficult calls, yeah, they gonna, those are the only people that gonna understand where you coming from because I'm telling you, being, being chosen, walking in that identity, it's the best thing in the world, but it's all. it also has that, that other side to it, to where the warfare coming for you. It's going to come for you. But understand that God is not calling you to do anything that he has not well equipped you to do. He's giving you armor. You do not have to fight alone. You do not have to, you know, just sit there and let the enemy tag all over you. And, and just, just tell you out the frame, you ain't got to sit there and go through that, baby. You put on your armor every day. You are to pray and apply the spiritual armor to your, to your life that God has given us. He didn't, he, he knew that we would need armor. He knew that we couldn't go out into spiritual battle naked. Like we can't go out without our clothes on, without our armor on. So he left us some armor to put on. So you have to go to Ephesians 6. Read up on the armor, start praying it over you, start praying it over your life. Every morning when you get up as the chosen one, you have to use your words, baby. You, you, have, you have to know when you're chosen, you know that your words have power. You know that you are able to call those things that be not as though they were. You're able to speak things into existence. So you have to speak your day into existence. You have to speak that over yourself. Every day you get up, and I teach about this in my academy. Every day you get up, you got to command your day. Off real. Do you understand? But ultimately, as soon as you wake up in the morning, as soon as your eyes open, for your feet even hit the flow, you got to go ahead and start using your power because the enemy is waiting on you. He be standing right there, baby, in your house. He already in your house waiting before you even wake up, baby. He done already jumped in them children. He done already jumped in that husband, that wife, whoever he need to jump in. He going to jump in the weakest link to try to wear you down, yeah, to try to get to you. He going to try to get in that which you love because he know that when what you love start acting up, that kind of throw you off a little bit. But see, you got to be prepared, baby. As the chosen one, you got to be prepared. You got to be ready. Got to be suited up. So as soon as you wake up, I'll real. Go ahead and start declaring the blessing of the Lord over your life. Go ahead and start speaking your affirmation. Go ahead and start speaking a blessed and prosperous day into existence. Go ahead and start speaking that. And if you're having problems with that, you don't know what to say, you don't know what to speak, I want you to look on my channel, pull up that breakthrough prayer that I uploaded to my channel a few months ago. Play that every morning. Play that every morning, baby, and start playing that, letting that go in your spirit. Start letting that saturate your spirit. And then start making your own affirmations. Start writing up your own breakthrough prayers and speaking these words over yourself every day. Because as soon as you get up, baby, the enemy is coming for you. He coming for you because he know that it's game on now. See, before, he wasn't worried about you because he already had you in his fold. He already had you. But now that you done broke free and you know who you are, you know you a chosen one. Oh, baby, he finna come at you with his best stuff. So I wanted to make this video to let you know, let all my chosen vessels know, baby, all my divine ones. Being chosen ain't easy. It is not easy, okay? But it's well worth it, baby. And God ain't calling you to do nothing that he ain't already equipped you, fully equipped you to handle. You are fully equipped to handle this. Greater is he that is in you. Jesus told you this. Greater is he that is in you than he that is out there, baby. So forget them folks. Forget them spirits. You got something far greater on the inside of you. You have the power of God. Walk in your chosen one identity. And don't be afraid of these spirits. Don't be afraid of the devil because God is with you, baby. And you are going, I'm telling you, I'm speaking over you right now prophetically. You're going to overcome this spiritual warfare and you're going to win every single battle against the enemy. You're going to win the war. You're going to win the war, baby. Every day you get up, I want you to wake up commanding your day, speaking your affirmations. I And, and affirm yourself who you are. I am chosen. Put that in the comments, baby. Go down there in the comments. Put it in the comments right now. Go on, let Dale know. Okay, I am chosen. I tell myself every day. I tell my children every day, baby, do you know that you're chosen? Come on now. You are a chosen vessel. You are a divine one, baby. You are a divine, powerful, eternal, spiritual being. 
Speak these words over yourself. Speak them over your children. Speak them over your loved ones, baby. Wake these folks up. They've been sleeping in the spirit long enough. It's time to wake up to our chosen one identity. Glory be to God. This is your inheritance. And this is what your father has for you. But you got to accept it. You got to walk into it. You got to embrace it. And understand that, you know, the stuff that didn't work out, hey, it's because God got something better for you. It's because God got something far better, far, uh, just, just far more great than you, your eyes could ever. The scripture says, your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard. It says, neither has it even entered into your heart. Like you can't even think this big. The level of the blessing that God has for you, the magnitude of the blessing that your father has for you. Now that ought to get you excited, baby. That ain't, ain't the warfare. Now that lets you know that the warfare is worth it. It's worth it. And I just heard God say that the harder the warfare, the bigger the blessing. Y'all better affirm this today. Come on now. The harder the warfare, the bigger the blessing. Because as you're going through these battles and you're winning these battles over the enemy, and sometimes winning a spiritual warfare battle, it just means that you got out of bed this morning. You didn't lay in bed all day. You got out of bed this morning. You made your bed. You brushed your teeth. You washed your face. You got. You went out and checked your mailbox, or you went out and took a walk in the park, or you walked your dog. Sometimes that in itself is a win because the enemy will fight you so to where he don't even want you to get up out of bed in the morning. He don't be want me to get on this camera. Because the enemy knows as the chosen one, the impact that you have on other people. When one person realizes who they are, they realize their power, they inspire other people to wake up. They inspire other people to realize their power. So that's why the enemy is going to fight you, the chosen one, harder than anybody else because he knows that you have the potential to wake the others up. He knows that you have the potential to point the others to the power that's in them too. I'm telling y'all. So understand that this, this warfare, these battles are not just for you. You're not only fighting battles for you, but you're fighting battles for other people too. You fighting battles, you fighting these battles for your children, for your generations to come, for your legacy. So keep your head up, baby. I feel like Tupac up in this thing. You got to keep your head up, baby. Do you understand me? Keep your head up and know that God got you, baby. You are chosen. You are chosen. All things going to work together for your good. Even when the enemy think he winning over you, he ain't winning over you, he ain't got one up on you, it's working for your good. God finna get ready to flip that. Come on now. God finna get, God said, I'm finna get ready to flip that thing, baby. If everything that they threw at you to stop you, everything that the enemy threw in your path to try to make it harder for you, God said, just like he told me, baby, he said, you're going to cash in on all of that and you're going to monetize off of all of that, baby. You're going to cash in off all that pain and everything that the devil threw on you. Guess what? He's going to have to pay you for every tear that you cried. He's going to have to pay you. Glory be to God. I love y'all so much, baby. It ain't easy being chosen, but you got this. You have the, you have the power of God on the inside of you. You're not alone. You have the Holy Spirit. You have the God presence on the inside of you, but you got to activate it and you got to use it. Okay. I am Latoya O'Kill. I'm praying for each and every one of y'all. I pray this message blesses you. Remember what I said. Take these messages to God in prayer and confirm with him that this is what God is speaking to you because it may not be what he's saying to you. He may be saying it to somebody else. So you got to get that confirmation. First of all, you got to get that revelation from God. God has to reveal himself to you through relationship. And then anything else you hear from me or anybody else is just going to be confirmation from what you have already heard from God. Okay. So I love y'all so much. I am Latoya O'Keele and I'll check in with y'all later.